I'm talking to executives and, and lab leadership, they understand it. They, they, they have a sense of where their opportunities are. Um, we know where the opportunities are being in a hundred different labs, you know, every month it, feel, it seems like. Uh, but why aren't they, I, I mean, why aren't they doing it? I, I think I find out, you know, they don't have the right, either the right resources, the right tools to, to monitor and identify where those opportunities are. Um, they may not have the right plan in place to execute upon. I know we talk a lot about risk of execution. Um, you know, having, you know, knowing the data and, and where the opportunities are is one thing, but being able to execute and sustain those opportunities and those savings time, you know, uh, you know year over year is another thing. So uh, I think um, it's very important for them to have a, a plan that's going to help drive uh, drive the improvements that they can execute upon. I mean, do you agree with that? Well, I do. I think that the collective experience that we've had, the ability to be objective in our viewpoint, takes a lot of the internal bias out of the, the process in terms of implementing change. Change is hard for anyone, but especially internally when you've got an internal group trying to facilitate change, you, you're met with, with, with a lot of resistance. And sometimes the ability for an outside group to come in, be completely objective, uh, have the experience to make those changes, uh, allow you to really implement uh, those critical components right. to, to driving change. Yeah, and I know that those are the com really the, the driving forces behind our performance enhancement program where we come in, we analyze through our benchmark, we come in with a team of operational financial consultants, we validate, which is key, identify with those opportunities and really put and put together a detailed implementation plan and then, you know, provide options for the clients in terms of uh, implementation to help reduce the risk of, of input, you know, of execution for, on their end. Yeah, I think so exactly. I mean, I think it's a process of identifying real concise improvement opportunities and really giving you the roadmap for how you're going to go out there and do that. Uh, you can elect to go down that path and put those in place on your own or again our expertise and collective experience allows us uh, really to do that faster. We call it speed to outcome. Uh, you know every every month there's an opportunity that, that is uh, not uh, executed upon uh, you are losing opportunity uh, with respect to a decrease in expense run rates.